Hey TT fans and those who are new to the Treadmill Trainer, Uriel came here. I want to put together this video because a lot of you have been asking like what's the difference between this workout and this workout? Which of the Treadmill Trainer programs is best for me based on my needs and training goals? So with that said, I've put, I'm putting together this video to literally go step by step through each program to show you what the differences are and to answer your questions to, to help you make the best and most informed decision uh, to find the right program for you. So we're on, the, we're on the treadmill trainer site, and before I get into the specific programs, I want to show you something really cool. And this is something that we put together a little while ago to visually represent the different treadmill trainer programs. And this is what we call the TT Spectrum. And this essentially will help you choose the best program, the best treadmill trainer program for you based on your fitness needs and your fitness goals. So in the middle of this, we have what we call the core right the, the real kind of mp3 interval running workouts right these are the, the meat and potatoes of what make up the treadmill trainer series and we've got volumes one through five and at the top of this we're looking at somebody who's more of a beginner and as we get down to volume five we're looking at somebody who's more advanced an experienced runner high level of fitness and kind of using a, that kind of graded scale you can it'll help you find the workout that might be best for you so for instance volume two is obviously a little bit less of a beginner stage than volume one volume three progresses a little bit more advanced from there volume four and so forth so in the middle of the spectrum we have the core interval running workouts that are ipod based you have me on your headphones with some awesome running music to coach you through your run so you never have to worry about when to speed up when to slow down how long to go for all that kind of stuff you don't want to worry about i take care of all of that for you now, because we understand that, you know, achieving your running goals is more than just running, we have, uh, if you look on the left here, some inter injury prevention and recovery programs, which consist of yoga for runners, which is an essential, I think, program for anyone who's using the treadmill trainer workouts or running in general. We have the strength and conditioning for runners and stretching for runners programs. Again, these are essential things because they will help you prevent injuries and recover faster. Very important because too many runners are spending way too much time pounding the pavement or the treadmill and not taking care of the body. And then finally, we have the nutrition for runners program, which shows you how to optimally fuel your body for your runs. And on the right hand side of the TT spectrum, we have complementary workouts. Now, these are cool workouts that you know we add in every now and then and actually this will probably be out of date uh, in a very short amount of time because we're constantly adding new workouts to the treadmill trainer series so for instance we have the vo2 max challenge and the tt fit test which are both really cool kind of self test type of workouts uh, so if you want to test your vo2 max your aerobic capacity use these workouts they're wicked the hill trekker this is actually perfect for all fitness levels it's a walking uh, incline workout very very cool challenging even for very advanced runners then we've got the hill training specific series the hill runner one hill runner two and sprint intervals rolling hill sprint intervals these are obviously hill workouts specifically designed for the use on the treadmill because you can't really adjust things outdoors uh, but again these are a little bit more advanced and great for the person who wants to really start running faster shed minutes um, at the you know really minutes off their 10k half marathon or full marathon times and so those are the the hill runner programs now uh within volume if we go back to the interval running workouts the core programs here the complementary workouts on the right these are also ipod running workouts and they're just outside of the the core uh five volumes that we have so let's go over to the treadmill trainer sites and have a look through what we've got here um so let's look at basically the iPod running workouts. And these are, you know, we're constantly looking at adding new workouts all the time. This actually, the site actually has to be updated because we're constantly adding new stuff. But let's look at Treadmill Trainer Volume 1. This is actually where most of our clients start off. And it's basically because a lot of people coming to the Treadmill Trainer site are beginners looking to get into running. They don't necessarily know how or what to do. And therefore, uh, Treadmill Trainer Volume 1 is a great place to start. Uh, because it's it's literally a, a combination of walking and jogging intervals that will enable really the couch potato, somebody who's never exercised before, to feel successful and get through this workout. It's a 38-minute workout. Now, you don't have to do the whole thing. You can do parts of it. You can do the whole thing if you want. Again, you can click on the workout structure. 
like I am here, you can see the whole workout structure of the workout. Again, gentle combinations of jogging and walking. And again, you can just do interval section one, interval section two, you can do the whole thing. Whatever you want to do is up to you. Now, a couple of the newer additions, I'm just going to go to the new running programs tab here. Uh, because a lot of you were asking, okay, well, initially we only had treadmill trainer volume one, two, and three, and we didn't really have a good segue from volume one to volume two. A lot of you said it was too much of a jump. So we added two intermediary volume one workouts. So again, these are for the, still the beginner, right? The beginner. Now we have treadmill trainer volume one intermediate, which would be one step above the volume one basic one that I just showed you. Now this one again, 38 minutes. What's the difference between this one and the first one, the first basic volume? Well, again, it's just different combinations of intervals. As again, I showed you here in the workout tracker, slightly more jogging, a little bit less walking. Okay, that's pretty much the difference. So again, it's a nice segue to help you move from volume one basic to um, a, more, a more advanced level, okay? Now, we also have Treadmill Trainer 1 Advanced. Now, this is getting us closer to Treadmill Trainer Volume 2. So if you're getting to that point where you can run a little bit longer, you don't need as much walking recovery, this is what you'd want to look for. Okay, so Treadmill Trainer 1 Advanced is for you. Now, you can also bundle all three of these and get all three of them so you can start yourself off and work from, you know, work from the basic volume one and work your way up to volume two uh, using these three workouts. And and really, if you're using these about two to three times a week, every other day, you'll be fine. And literally, like I guarantee like in four to six weeks, you'll be running no problem. So that's the volume one series. Let's go back. Now you're a little bit more advanced. You can run for a little bit longer. That's when we're looking at volume two. So volume two is a 45 minute workout. And again, this features intervals like all of our treadmill trainer workouts do because interval training is the best and most effective way to train. So as you can see, the workout structure is a little bit different here, right? Uh, progressive incremental warm up, interval sections comprising a little bit faster running with the kind of jogging recovery. And again, you'll notice that there's no green on this chart, which means that there's no walking in this workout. So it's periods of light jogging interspersed with periods of faster running intervals of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, um, and things like that throughout the workout. So that's volume two. But again, you know, people wanted a nice segue from volume two to volume three. So let's have a look at volume two intermediate. And again, if you ever want to be up to date with the newest running programs, if you just go down here, you'll see this tab new running programs, and you can see the newest running programs that we've added to the site, usually on a monthly basis, sometimes a little bit longer. Um, so here we go, treadmill trainer volume two. Let's have a quick look at the workout structure. What makes this one different? Well, what's the first thing you, that you notice? The colors, right? The colors are a little bit different. The bars are a little bit higher up and essentially the bars are an indication of the intensity. So the red on the right side of this chart indicates slightly faster speeds of 90 to 100% of your maximum possible speed, right? We use relative intensity. So we don't use heart rate or anything like that. It's based on what you can run at assuming you know your fastest speed is 100%. And then we work on that for most of these intervals. So intervals here of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, you know, that's pretty challenging. So that's treadmill trainer to intermediate. And like with all the workouts, you can do the whole workout or you can just do parts of it, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So that's a uh, volume two intermediate. And as you guessed it, we have volume two advanced as well. And so, okay, Yuri, what's the difference between volume two intermediate and volume two advanced? Well, this one is actually really cool because we're using uh, a really cool, a really cool section called the pyramid progressive runs. And this is uh, more challenging than it looks because essentially every minute we're gonna be increasing the intensity so that you're never really getting to that steady state. And that's really, really cool. So we, we start off with that after our warm-up, then we get into an interval section where we're doing about three minutes on, one minute off, and uh, and challenging your body in some cool ways like that. So the work-to-rest ratio, the amount of work you're doing compared to the amount of rest you have, is um, is obviously is higher than if you're a beginner, right? If you're a beginner, you'd have more rest than recovery, but because treadmill trainer too advanced is for somebody more advanced, we, uh, we take a little bit of recovery away, so we have more fun with that. So that's the volume two series. Let's quickly move through the volume three series. Okay, Yuri, what's the difference between volume three and volume two? Well, to be honest, there really isn't a huge jump. The biggest difference is that volume three features longer running intervals, 
volume, uh, for instance, four minutes on, one minute off, five minutes on, one minute off. So longer bouts of running. And as such, this workout is really helpful for those of you looking to, uh, you may have built some speed already and you're looking to be able to maintain that faster running speed for some upcoming races. Again, we've got volume three intermediate as well. And once again, this one actually features a really cool running uh, section called 54321 runs. It's tough to say very quickly. But what we have here is basically, again, long extended bouts of running at high intensity and then an equal amount of recovery. So five minutes on, five minutes off, four minutes on, four minutes off. And believe me, you'll need those recovery bouts because we're working at pretty high intensities here. So again, different stimuli. Now what the benefit, the reason we develop so many different workouts to make up the treadmill trainer series is that it's very important to challenge your body in new ways all the time, right? If you're consistently doing the same workout over and over again, you get you get into plateaus, your body um, adapts very quickly, and you're not able to adjust very well to new stimuli. So if you're running a race and you know, you're know you all of a sudden faced with an uphill battle or a wind resistance, you're not used to that. So you need to challenge yourself in new ways, yet at the same time be specific to what you're training for. So. Um, generally the volume two and volume three series are great workouts for five and 10 K distances because they're, you know, in and about that 40 to 50 minute range in terms of minutes. And you can also use these for half marathons, right? If you want to start building up to half marathon training, they're great for that as well. We're just having a look here at volume three advanced. I'm going to click on the workout structure. Once again, longer intervals, right? Four minutes on, one minute off at about 85 to 90%. That's tough to that tough stuff. So these are these are workouts. The volume three series in generally in general uh, features longer intervals, less recovery, and you're getting really starting to tap into that lactate zone, the lactic acid production, and that's when you get the muscles burning. And that's that's uh can be uncomfortable, but it's very important if you're into racing that you, you're, you're, you're allowing your body to adapt to that type of stimulus. All right, so we've covered volume one, two, and three. Let's move on to volume four, shall we? So now we're at volume four and volume five. A lot of, you know, some of our treadmill trainer clients were asking me, okay, you're, you know, do you, I need some longer workouts to train for, for instance, a half marathon. Well, here you go, volume four, perfect for half marathon training. And again, let's look at the workout structure. This is a 74 minute workout. And again, it's specifically designed to use tempo runs, uh, run, you know, 5K race pace runs, 10K race pace runs to get you spending more time at faster speeds uh, so that by the time you're running a half marathon, you're able to sustain those paces without much of an issue. So if you're more advanced, the 75 minute workout is for you. If you're looking to run a half marathon, give it a go. And volume five, we'll just wrap up the core workouts here. Volume five is an 89 minute workout. And once again, yes, it is perfect for half marathon training. And it's actually nice to use in combination with volume four. And apparently we can't find the workout structure here. All right, we'll have to re-upload that one. But anyways, again, featuring longer intervals, getting you used to running for longer periods of time at faster speeds so that by the time you're running that half marathon, it's really a walk in the park. Okay, that's, that's what it's all about, guys. Is it's about training above what you need to be working at in a race. Now, okay, you, maybe you're not into racing. You're not into 5Ks or 10Ks or any kind of races. You just want to use these workouts to burn calories. Well, that's great because using these interval setups, these interval protocols that we have in each of these workouts is forcing your body to work at higher intensities, which means you're going to be burning more calories because you're essentially working at a higher intensity revving up your metabolism and keeping it revved up for several hours after your workout. All right, so let's move on to our specific race training stuff. We've got 5K uh, 5K training programs. So the 5K training program is, this is a 12-week schedule, okay? So we give you the 12-week layout of exactly when to use the treadmill trainer workouts, which ones to use and when to use them. And depending on if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, we have different packages for you. Now, just realize that when you order the 5K training program alone, if you just wanted the schedule, if you already have a bunch of other treadmill trainer workouts, then you can just order the schedule 
and that's it, right? So the schedule will give you the step-by-step, the day-by-day over 12 weeks, when to use the workouts, how to use them, what sections to do, all that stuff. If you don't have any of the treadmill trainer workouts, you're going to want to use, you're going to want to choose one of the packages, advanced, intermediate, or beginner. The difference is that when you get the, the with the 12K, uh, with the 12 week 5K training schedule, you get training plans for a beginner, intermediate, and advanced level. The difference between them is which workouts they involve. Okay, so advanced obviously is somebody who's looking to run faster. So we include workouts like volume four, five, and the hill runners because they're more challenging and they help you get your body moving at faster speeds. Okay, so you've got three different training packages to choose from depending on your fitness level. Exactly the same thing applies with the 10K training. A 12-week running schedule, you'll have plans for beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels. So no matter where you are, if it's your first 10K or you want to run your fastest one ever, we'll have a plan for you in there. And again, same thing, depending on if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you'll want to choose the package that best suits your needs. Okay? So that's the 10K. We'll move on to the half marathon training. And again, guys, you'll probably realize by now we've got everything for runners and for people who enjoy interval running. You know, we started out as simply having volume one, two, and three when we first launched the site. We've developed this into having more than about 30 different programs now. So whether you're a couch potato looking to start, just start running or run your first or fastest marathon, we have everything and you could possibly want as a runner. Half marathon training program, you guessed it, same deal applies, 12-week running schedule, choose the package that works for you, and again, it comes with the associated workouts, okay? Now, we also recently added a marathon training program, which is our uh, first marathon made easy program, and that's right over here. This is on a little bit of a different site, but anyways, we have a video kind of explains the program. The video... Actually, it's a really good video to watch because it explains. Uh, I've actually teamed up with a friend of mine who's a marathon running coach, Joe Briere, and we talk about how most runners training for marathons are spending way too much time running upwards of six days a week over 16 weeks to get ready for a marathon, and it just kills your body. So, the first Marathon Made Easy program is all about training less and getting more out of your training to gear you up for your first marathon or even your second or third or your fastest marathon in as little as 16 weeks. So let's move on to our injury prevention and recovery programs. Nutrition for runners, strength and conditioning for runners, and stretching for runners. And recently added yoga for runners, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so nutrition for runners. I'm not gonna go too much in the detail here, but basically this is a 102 page ebook, which gives you everything you need to know nutrition wise um, to fuel your performance. And this is not the same stuff you read all the time, like eat carbs and pastas and all that garbage. This is actually about, this is going beyond that. It's looking at the quality of food, talking about pH balance, alkalinity, uh, life force and foods, and all this kind of stuff that no other sports nutrition textbooks are talking about. And uh, believe me, most runners need this kind of information because I remember um, when I used to live in Toronto, we lived uh, by High Park, and there was a Starbucks close to where a lot of people ran. So they do their runs, they come right into Starbucks, they have their latte, and that's it. Uh, unfortunately, that's not, that's not the way you want to fuel yourself as a runner. So this Nutrition for Runners program is really, really important. And the importance of nutrition for runners and for people in general who are exercising is its power in helping you recover faster. That's very important, especially if you're training three, four, five days a week. You need to be able to recover quickly. So that is nutrition for runners. Strength and conditioning for runners. One of the biggest mistakes I see runners make is they do not spend enough time strengthening their body specific to the demands of running. This is not about going to the gym and hopping on some machines and doing bicep curls and leg presses. This is about strengthening your body through ranges of motion that are necessary to complement what you're going to be going through when you're running. Okay, because running is a very straightforward motion. If you don't train your body in multiple planes and at- and really kind of attack those muscles that need strengthening, you know that's where injuries develop. Let's look at a very simple example: uh, knee pain, patellofemoral pain, tight IT bands. Right? There's specific reasons that that happens. Weak glutes, weak VMO, which is the muscle just on the inside of your knee. These are muscles that you know we don't necessarily attack individually, but we work together. Uh, We work kind of systematically to get all of your body parts moving together to train those muscles in a very 
um, specific manner to, to running and, and, and movement in general. So strength and conditioning for runners is a, a 12 week program contains three workout trackers. So you get a, a new workout plan each month for three months. It comes with the guided videos for each workout. So you know exactly what to do. And you also have the PDF to print off. It comes with the exercise pictures. So you know exactly what they look like. You have the workout tracker for the workout. You can track each exercise, the weight you do, the sets, all that good stuff. And that's strength and conditioning for runners. Stretching for runners, very important. Most runners are pretty tight. This program guides you through a very methodical and thought out stretching and cool down protocol. Okay, so this is something that you can do uh, afterwards. I actually, sorry, this is a warm up, right? So you get the dynamic warm up components, right? So if you're if you're running, you don't want to be stretching before your runs, and I show you why you don't want to do that in this program. And instead, we look at dynamically warming you up before your runs and then taking you through the proper static cool down stretching component after your run so holding a stretch you know for 20 30 seconds a static stretch you want to do that after your runs dynamic stretching is where you take your muscles through ranges of motion okay i'll just show you a quick video here of what that might look like i'll just turn down the volume there so if you can see this little video here if it ever decides to play so an exercise like this, right? A lunge walk with a twist. That would be an example of a dynamic movement. I'm sure, it could be a strengthening exercise at the same time, and that is the that is that that's the rationale behind dynamic stretching, dynamic warm ups. Okay. So that is that, and I'm going to show you um, where are we in life? We really have to update this site. Some of it is, uh, you know, got to make it a little bit more user friendly. Okay. So yoga for runners is something we recently introduced. And I'm a big fan, a uh, huge fan of yoga. Uh, it's changed my life. This is a, an audio guided, uh, say, 25 minute session. I do this personally about two to three times a week in the morning when I first get up. A really great way to start my day. And you can do this the same way. You can do it after it runs. You get the audio guided. So you like, you'll have me on your headphones guiding you through the whole yoga sequence. Okay. You also get the video guided uh, components. So you get the 25 minute video. Of again, you can play this on your computer, your iPod, your iPad, your TV, whatever. Um, and you'll see me. You'll, we can do the yoga workout together. Just kind of follow my lead, and we'll do it together. And you also have the uh, the movement manual, which is essentially the movements, right? The different movements of the yoga session and their descriptions. And that is yoga for runners. It's a really, really, really great program. And the beautiful thing is that it doesn't take an hour and a half like a lot of other yoga classes do. It's very quick. I mean, 25 minutes compared to 90 minutes, but it, it really hits all those important areas. Like it's so tight with runners and for people in general, just sitting all day and doing all that kind of stuff that uh, really tightens up the body. All right, so just about there. I'm gonna go through a couple more programs really quickly here. Okay, so Treadmill Trainer Hill Tracker. This is a, a workout that we released in March of 2011. An amazing workout for beginners who don't wanna run. So for instance, if you're a little bit older, your joints are a little bit sore, you can't stand the impact of running. Hill Tracker is awesome because it's an incline walking workout. Now walking is great. Everyone should be walking at a bare minimum. However, that's not enough. But simply by increasing the incline on the treadmill, you can get an amazing workout simply by walking. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, I show you some ways to do that as well. Throw a knapsack on your back, increase the speed. Even if you're more advanced, you'll get a great workout by changing things up. This is a great recovery session for some of you hardcore runners out there. Okay, awesome, awesome workout. Rolling hill sprint intervals. This is a cool workout. Again, it's treadmill specific because we're playing with the incline and the speed at the same time. So this is a little bit more advanced. So for, for those of you who want to really increase your speed, who want to sprint, uh, the cool thing about running on an incline is that the steeper the incline, the more forces you to actually sprint, which means you're landing on the balls of your feet, really full out sprinting, uh, as opposed to running on a flat surface at a slower speed. So there's a lot of benefits to uh, faster runs. You get to tap into different energy systems, really train those type two muscle fibers, uh, which a lot of runners don't. Uh, so the rolling hill sprint intervals is a great workout, treadmill specific. Uh, if you're on the treadmill, awesome, awesome stuff. And I'm going to show you the last two, which are the kind of the self-test workouts, as I like to call them. So the treadmill trainer fit test. This is a, this is a workout actually I put together for the men's soccer program at the University of Toronto, which is essentially um, 
a very similar to a 12 minute run test where we basically if you're on the treadmill or outdoors preferably on a track we literally do this workout together and over 12 minutes we're looking at covering as much distance as possible and the cool thing is that it comes with the tracking sheet so when you do this every four or six weeks you can track your distance and we give you an equation to calculate your vo2 max which is your maximum aerobic capacity so that's really really cool great way to track and see your progress over time vo2 max challenge is a treadmill specific test slash workout and this one is actually very similar to a vo2 max test you would do if you were to go to some exercise physiology lab and do a vo2 max test not a lot of fun believe me you don't want to have those things all hooked up to you this is a much more, less invasive uh procedure if you want to call it that and it's not as grueling you're not going to feel like you're going to pass out or throw up afterwards like like those hardcore vo2 max tests do so the vo2 max challenge is really really fun uh, and again, these are really, not only are they self-tests, but they're actually very, very good workouts. You know, if you're looking to run as fast as possible in 12 minutes, that's a great workout. If you're looking to do an incremental incline workout over 30 minutes, which is a VO2 max challenge, believe me, that is a serious workout. And if you can make it all the way to the end, you are one fit individual. So um, that's a quick rundown of, I think, most of the programs. Uh, it's uh, on the treadmill trainer site again my treadmill trainer.com is the website now as we say you know these are the best interval running workouts in the world you know if you can find anything better than this please let me know i'd love to see it because i have not yet and we've helped tens of thousands of people and runners uh, from all walks of life from all fitness levels improve their running performance run faster burn fat whatever their goals are in terms of using interval running workouts these workouts have helped big time so if you are in sports if you're a runner if you just want to lose fat these workouts will help so on that note please again just visit the site have a look around if you have any questions let us know join me on facebook and i'm here to help you every step of the way so until then i'm uriel came thanks for watching and i'll see you in the runs